what makes people want to do their best? Can you force somebody to do their best? Lean, agile, scrum, safe, Canva, everything that we talk about, the ultimate goal of all of these things is to build a high-performing team This is what is called the safe house of lean, which is a visual of the key practices that enable lean in our portfolios. So what does it have? Leadership is on the foundation. What does that mean? The right type of leadership that enables these practices to work is the foundation of everything that we are talking about. The re leadership that enables collaboration, leadership that enables self-organizing team is critical to these practices to work. Value is the goal. Value is the key goal that we are aiming for. And then we got four primary pillars, respect for people and culture, building foundations, building our partnerships based on trust which is what we discussed already. Empowering people to make decisions, empowering people to self-organize, creating an environment where people feel like they matter, where people feel like they can make decisions, where they can take risks. Flow is simply about taking work from left to the right, from concept to cash, as fast and as seamlessly as possible. And that's where things like automation come in. I'm gonna go take a shower and you can take the shower. Breaking, breaking down our silos come into the play. Building those cross-functional value streams of people. Remember that value stream idea? That cross-functional group of people, not silos, but value streams. That is going to enable flow. Working on our automation practices, CICD practices, is going to enable us to have faster flow. And then we got innovation and relentless improvement that go hand in hand which means we got to enable people to come up with new ideas, to solve problems, to remove delays, to remove bottlenecks in the system, which is further facilitated through our retrospectives. With me on what Lean is all about. So goal is to deliver better value to our customers faster and more reliable. And these two components work hand in hand to help us build a lean, agile mindset. When we enable collaboration, when we work hand in hand with our customers, we get continuous feedback, we empower people, we remove delays, we strategically think about improving our practices on an ongoing basis. When we can club these two perspectives, that's when we enable an environment and an organization that delivers value fast and predictably. And Scaled Agile Framework is a framework that specializes in helping organizations do that. And safe. Who's heard of SAFE before? Have you heard of SAFE? Scaled Agile Framework, right? Most of you would have. So Scaled Agile Framework is the world's leading framework on lean agile software development. Also became the highest taken Scaled Agile certification in the tech industry in 2019 with over 234,000 people certified in one year. So 234,000 people certified in the same year in 2019. I don't have the numbers for 2020 yet. So that is something that we specialize in partially at Skillbook Academy. And for people that are interested in going deeper and getting certified and what we've just shared obviously in the last 45 to 60 minutes, it's just the tip of the iceberg. We've just kind of scraped the surface of what lean agile software development is and how it enables organizations to deliver value faster. And everybody needs to save, period. 
everybody needs safe because the problems that we're talking about are enabled and solved through these lean agile software implementations where we can scale agile practices across different layers of the organization and enable our teams to work collaboratively with people that they need to work with. So here's some of the courses that we would invite you to look into if uh, you want to go deeper into these practices, depending on the role that you play. So Safe Agilist is a two-day course. Most of these are two days, except for the Lean Agile Architecture one, which is three days. Every other course is a two-day course. Safe Agilist is often a course that people take to, get, to build a first step, to take their first step into Lean Agile software development to understand how these things operate at scale. And then afterwards, people would often go into specific role-based courses based on the role that they are going to play in an organization. So here's some of the courses that we would invite you to look into if uh, you wanna go deeper into these practices, depending on the role that you play. So Safe Agilist is a two-day course. Most of these are two days, except for the Lean Agile Architecture one, which is three days. Every other course is a two-day course. Safe Agilist is often a course that people take to, get, to build a first step, to take their first step into Lean Agile software development to understand how these things operate at scale. And then afterwards, people would often go into specific role-based courses based on the role that they are going to play in an organization. 